I'm Anton Bazani and the gents, it's your girl. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Sipe. And for those of you who do know me, yo, what's up? If you haven't already, subscribe at the end of the video, leave a like, and don't forget to bomb those comments. So I hope you guys are good and I hope you guys are excited. Today is the first Transformation Tuesday here on my channel and the talk will be titled Valuing Your Brand. So valuing your brand, what is that all about? It's not just about your values and it's not just about the brand that you're building, but it's about valuing what you're building. And in order for you to value what you're building, you need to know why you are building it. You need to know where you want your brand to be. And then you need to know what is going to motivate you to get your brand to where you want it to be. I hope you guys enjoy the, the talk. And so when you value yourself, you will not allow people to treat you how you don't deserve to be treated. And that means when you think or when you know people are taking you for granted, you need to understand why. Because it's frustrating to have people take you for granted and you don't even know why. So let me give an example. All my life, I put myself second. It was everything and everybody before my wealth, before my health. And me doing that allowed other people to put me second as well. And I can't express this enough. But people will treat you how you treat yourself. And you, it is really like, it, does, it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. You cannot expect people to treat you better than you treat yourself. So if you want people to put you, I can't say put you first because they have to put themselves first. But if you want people to not take you for granted and to actually see that you mean something, you need to be willing to, you know, be the type of a person for yourself as well so when you talk about who am i what am i what do i represent what i'm about those are important questions because the answers of those questions are the foundation of the brand that you're building those answers are going to be what makes your brand unique you know it's going to be what makes your brand different and it's going to be what makes you you so when you answer these questions, think about where does your loyalty lie? What, is, what are you committed to? What is worth being consistent about? What type of person are you? Are you a reliable person? Are you an honest person? Or are you a person who... Breath. <laughs> or are you a person who seeks to be an overachiever but fails to achieve the bare minimum because you're being misled or you're easily being distracted? For those of you who are easily being misled or easily being distracted, let me tell you something. If you are easily being misled and you are easily being distracted, it is because you do not know where you want to go or what it is that you want to achieve. So it makes it easier for people to change your plans. And you cannot build a brand without a plan. If you are building a brand, it is a matter of you need to build an empire with the same rocks that are meant to break you. Those words that are meant to hurt you should be some sort of motivation, you know? And those tears that you are crying should be some sort of stepping stone. When people are trying to break you, you need to use what they think is going to be at your disadvantage to your advantage. So you need to keep in mind that the image that people have of you shouldn't be the image that you have of yourself, right? So people think that they'll find you where they left you. And they often think that if they trash you, it will break you. And if they talk about you, you will be completely broken. They also think that you won't rise up if they don't raise you. So everybody who is thinking that, prove them wrong. But prove them wrong at your benefit as well. So it's one thing to prove somebody else wrong, but at your own expense, and then it's another thing to prove somebody else wrong. But at the same time, you are happy, you are becoming wiser, you know. So when you're thinking of proving somebody wrong, also think about how you are going to benefit from it, okay? And then when things are not moving, don't forget that you won't be the person that you are now forever. So the person that you are today, you won't be that person tomorrow. You won't be the per that same person the day after that. You are going to continue growing. You're going to continue evolving. And that's just a matter of you believing that. All right. So I've spoken enough about your value and your foundation. Now let's talk about your brand. Your brand is what you represent, what you are about, where you are from, where you are heading. Right. You need to remember to be unique. You 
are responsible, right? You are responsible for your brand. The same way you're responsible for your pain, the same way you're responsible for what you put in your body. Last time I checked, this was your life. It being your life means your words are your seeds, right? So you need to act like you have what you want until you are able to exist. Let's we'll stop here. Thank you very much for your time. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, bomb those comments, turn on the bell so you can receive a notification and share the link with your friends so you can have them subscribing as well. This is me sending love to you. Until next time. Bye.